everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, so up for unboxing and review today, we have got Dirty Dancing on 4K Blu-ray and it comes in this beautiful looking steelbook. Yes, I know, another edition of <laughs> Dirty Dancing. Dirty Dancing seems to be one of these movies that uh, whenever an anniversary comes along, they seem to bring out a new edition of it. And uh, I went through my collection. I actually did find a few of them, which I'm going to quickly show here. So they brought out this one. Now, I got this years and years ago, and I think this might be a 20th anniversary edition. So it came in this uh, fancy looking pink box. And uh, I think you got t-shirts and booklets and all that kind of stuff in And you got the Blu-ray as well. And uh, the Blu-ray in this looked absolutely terrible, it has to be said. So uh, yeah, I've had that for a while now. And then they brought out this version of it. Uh, I think this is five years after. And this is the keepsake edition of it. Um, this is the best, definitely the best looking version when it comes to picture quality. Well, it was until we got the 4K release. Uh, but this is a 3 disc set, I think it is as well. And uh, it's more, yeah, it's just more kind of loaded with uh, features more than anything else. There's nothing, uh, you don't get booklets or you don't get any kind of postcards or anything with it. But it still is quite a nice addition of it. And then th I'm nearly sure as well, there a couple of years back, they actually brought another Blu-ray edition of it. And I think you did get posters and uh, booklets and um, postcards and all that kind of stuff with it. Now, I didn't buy that one. I've, I've actually had my fill with them too until the 4K releases came along. And then the 4K release did come out along and um, America were the first to bring it out. And I've been desperately trying to get the Best Buy Steelbook of it. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the story again. I did have it. It got lost in the post. So uh, when it got lost, I went over to Amazon on Italy and I came across this version of it and it's from a company called 4k ult uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right and everything seemed to be roses when I picked up this release but then when I got it home I was absolutely devastated to find out that the uh, there was no Dolby Atmos soundtrack on this where the American version did so yeah I was yeah I was a bit pissed off about that and then finally finally Lionsgate released uh, their 4k version of it over here and then we finally got this beautiful looking steelbook of it uh, now when I say it's a beautiful looking steelbook, look it's not the, it's not the best looking steelbook you will ever see. Uh, as, fa as a matter of fact I was a little underwhelmed by it when I first unboxed it. But then I came to realise look it's Dirty Dancing, what else, what am I expecting uh, from a steelbook from Dirty Dancing. And uh, yeah I've grown, grown to slowly kind of uh, love the steelbook. So um, I watched the movie, I will talk about the 4K transfer now in a few minutes. Uh, but I watched the documentary as well on this, now it's not on this disc, it was actually on Netflix. And uh, I couldn't believe some of the hardships they had to go, go through to kind of get this movie made. It seems to be a, a thing anyway, but especially back in the 80s, there's always these hardships to get these movies made. Uh, like even right down to the cast. Now, I think Jennifer Grey was captured, uh, cast fairly quickly, where Patrick Swayze was another issue altogether. I think they wanted Patrick Swayze, they loved the look of him. But he, down in his resume, he actually had no dancing experience. So he got kind of put aside and they brought in Billy Zane. And uh, for the large part there, it looked like Billy Zane was going to get the role. But I, I don't know whether it was the directors or the writers or whoever it was. They just couldn't get Patrick Swayze out of their head. And all of a sudden they got word that apparently Patrick Swayze is a professional dancer. And the only reason why he didn't have it in his resume is because he was an ex-footballer. And he actually damaged his knees. So he couldn't really dance anymore. So we removed it from his resume. So when they found out that he was a professional dancer, he was instantly brought in. And uh, thank God. Uh, now, not, no, nothing against Billy Zane. What a fantastic actor. But uh, Patrick uh, Swayze was just born for this role. But the only problem was that when Patrick Swayze came in, as soon as Jennifer Grey found out about it, uh, she wanted someone else cast it because apparently the two of them had a massive falling out in Red Dawn. But uh, Swayze and her got together in a room they spoke to each other for around an hour. Apparently the two of them came out all teary-eyed and everything was roses for a couple of weeks anyway until they went to war again. And thankfully the director stepped in and uh, kind of got things back on track. So uh, apparently Patrick Swayze didn't like the name of the, the movie as well, Dirty Dancing. He felt like it sounded like a porn, a porn movie. But again, the writers stuck firm with it and uh, they, they weren't giving in, they weren't caving in. They stuck with the name Dirty Dancing and thank God they did. But there was, yes, when you watch this documentary, it is on Netflix. Uh, you wouldn't believe that some of the hardships they actually had to go through uh, to get this movie made. But I think it's one of those things that sh thankfully the writers, the producers and the directors, they all stood firm. And because they stood firm, we ended up getting the movie that we did get. Because if they didn't, it probably would have been an absolute mess of a movie. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take us around the steelbook for, uh, first. I'm going to come back and then I'm going to show, uh, talk about the 4K transfer. And uh, yeah, let's do it right now. Right, so here we go. Dirty Dancing. And uh, it's on this uh, 
quite decent looking steelbook it has to be said like i said it is growing on me a little bit more at a time every time i see it so uh, i'll take us around it first and then i will take off this little uh, slip or the sleeve that's on it so uh yeah take it around to the spine of it and then around to the back and uh, i'll just hold this up if so you can see some of the features and uh wow there's actually over six hours of uh, bone uh, blu rays extras which is uh wow that's quite amazing wow that is going to be a lot of fun to watch so uh, yes, an incredible amount of features to be had. And there's a couple of the uh, technical aspects if you want to have a look at these ourselves. Right, so zoom back out and we're going to take this uh, slip off. And it's one of the things that really do appeal to me with these line, lines gauge uh, steelbooks is these lovely slips that come with them. I don't know what it is. I've said that in previous videos. It just gives them that extra kind of premium look to them. And uh, this one's a bit more on the simple side. They could have done a bit more with it, but I'm still happy to have it. Right, so here we go. Whoa, dropped it. Uh, right, so here we go. Proper look at the steelbook. And, you know, like I said, when I seen the pictures of it, I was a little underwhelmed by it. But then I just came to realise, look, Mom, we're talking about Dirty Dancing here. What else were they going to do? They put Johnny and they put Baby on the cover. What else can they do? So, uh, yeah, I'm like I said, growing to love it a little bit more every time I see it. So, uh, yeah, take us back around to the spine of it then again and then to the back. And then, of course, you had the iconic lift at the end of it. And, of course, you'd have to put that on the steelbook as well. So, open it up in full. And there you have it. That is the steelbook. So, all in all, I'm quite pleased with it. Like I said, it's not going to win any awards uh, when it comes to steelbooks. But it's great to finally have a steelbook of Dirty Dancing. Right, so onto our discs. And, uh, right, I'll take this one out first, which is your Blu-ray disc. And I presume that houses all the uh, special features as well. So that's one disc and then the second disc is your 4k disc and again always great to see different artwork on the discs and then that leads us to the inside uh, artwork and as you can see it's them uh, kind of practicing in the water and then you've got nobody puts baby in the corner uh, that line is still cheesy to this day uh, it was cheesy then it's still cheesy now so that is it folks that is a quick look around the steelbook itself and uh yeah quite happy to have it in the collection so uh yeah that is dirty dancing right folks so there you have it that is the steelbook and like i said it's slowly growing on me every time i actually look at it uh, i think it's quite a decent looking steelbook right so on to the 4k transfer but before we do let's go through some technical aspects first it's got an aspect ratio of 185 by 1 it supports Dolby Vision and HDR. It's also got a Dolby Atmos soundtrack. It's got a running time of 101 minutes and it's a native 4K disc. Right, so the first thing I'm gonna say about this transfer, just a little warning out there. Uh, this movie is ugly. It's very ugly. It's always been ugly when it comes to physical media. Uh, I remember the DVD, even the Blu-rays, particularly the 20th anniversary Blu-ray. It's probably one of the lo worst looking Blu-rays you'll ever see. The keepsake edition of, I think, which was the 25th anniversary edition, massively improved on that one. And this one has improved on the keepsake edition, but it hasn't drastically uh, improved on it. Uh, the first thing I will talk about is um, the Dolby Vision in it. Uh, the colours definitely look a lot more richer now, uh, which is good because when you do look at the, the, the Blu-ray of it, uh, the colours look very lifeless in it. And uh, that's one thing that they massively improved on, and thank God they did, because it does really enhance uh, the picture. The back le black levels definitely look a lot richer now as well, which is another welcome addition, because on the previous Blu-rays, the blacks looked all crushed. And they were just absolutely horrible. So that gives a, another thumbs up as well. The shadow detail is okay. It's not the best I have ever seen. But again, it's a bit of an improvement over the, uh, the Blu-ray as well. And when you do see some of the textures, some of the skin textures in this as well. Uh, you know, the, the skin, the, the, the colours, they look all very, they're very natural looking. They're very, um, there's a bit lot more detail now to be seen in the facial details. So that gets a plus. But it's just for the large bulks of this movie, the image just comes across as very, very soft. Anyone that's aware of the Ghostbusters on 4K, I think is will get a good idea of what I mean. It's, it's the best the movie's ever looked, but it still looks quite soft. You know, it's, you do get elements during this movie. There's certain scenes. Uh, one scene in particular that comes to mind is when she's asking the father for money. 
and you do get a, a great sense of that 4k transfer and how beautiful it could it could have looked but again it's all down to source material and it's only these one or two scenes that you will see in it but all in all I honestly found it to be a very nice upgrade not like I said a monster upgrade over that previous blu-ray release but it's a substantial one and I think it will make fans very very happy but the real reason to why you want to pick up this 4k release is for the new Dolby Atmos soundtrack uh, talking about being put right in the middle of this movie uh, right in the middle of its action <laughs> action yeah um, you just get a great sense a greater sense now of atmosphere I remember watching these on blue th this movie on blu-ray and I think it was a 7.1 DTS soundtrack you got with it and when you ha heard the likes of hungry eyes or you heard um, uh, she's like the wind or the time of my life there was just no energy to the music there was no I don't know what it was it was just lacking something but thankfully now uh, the Atmos has fixed it now and you just get this great grandiosa feel of the, the music the sounds uh, the songs of this movie which in my eyes is a huge huge plus because the soundtrack is so unbelievably good to this movie there is a great sense of separation with the speakers as well and the high channels are there but look we're watching dirty dancing here there's not going to be too many overhead uh, sequence um, moments sorry during the atmos soundtrack but you will hear a few there as well the dialogue is incredibly clean as well no issues there so all in all folks i honestly think that if you are going to pick up dirty dancing on 4k pick it up for its dolby atmos soundtrack more than its picture because the sound is what's making a monster upgrade uh, on this release more so than the picture so that is it folks that is it so as per usual if you did like this video please do give it a thumbs up and if you could do leave a comment down below and please do share your thoughts on this movie and its transfer and yes i hope to see you all again real soon with my next video until then i'll see you soon bye bye